the realizing To master enterprise and I ain't have to be in school by 10 I then began to encounter with my counter What is up guys and it's been a while but I'm back with another massive build so, I looked back at my comments on my previous Game of Thrones builds, and you guys really want me to build Winterfell. So, I had a look online and found some reference images. One was from the show itself, of Winterfell, and the other was this little model version that someone had made themselves. So, I thought I'd use them and get to work with things. So, I begin by flattening out the landscape a little bit, so I have some sort of area to work off of. I thought it was best to use a default world in this case. Previously, on the last build I used a flatland because I needed the height of the world as well but this one I really wanted to blend into the actual land itself. As you can see I'm just doing some terrain editing now. Flattening out the area making it suitable for Winterfell to sit on. Now that the terraforming was done, I began to plan out the exterior wall of Winterfell itself. And I really wanted to get this accurate, so this took a long time, a lot of slow little edits to the actual planning and laying out of it, but we got there eventually. I worked with the landscape and then slowly added the wall around. Green wall representing the actual wall itself and the red wall representing towers. As you can see, I go back and keep editing the wall here and there, just to make it fit perfectly, to make it look the shape that it is in the show. Now I start planning out the interior wall as well, where the actual cast itself sits. And now we come down to the front here and begin to work on the entrance to Winterfell. I start by making one wall itself and then copying it around onto all other three and then adding the main entrance doorway as well. Now the problem with this build is all of the walls are very grey and I didn't just want to use cobblestone for the entire thing so I tried my best to mix it up by adding in some stone brick and a site and some cobblestone and a few other bits and bobs here and there as well. And I think by doing so it really helped break it up quite a bit making it look a little bit more, make it, made, it, made it pop a little bit more rather than having it be completely flat. Now coming around to the back side of the castle now, doing the same details to these walls that I was to the other side and I continue it all the way around. Now working on the back entrance, it's an exact mirror of the front one except it's on a slight angle adding on the flags on top and then continuing the wall along the edge. Mixing in some andesite and adding in some cobblestone stairs as well. Now I begin to work on the interior walls, doing some longer and thinner towers and then some regular cobblestone mixed with the other materials to match the exterior walls. I flattened off the top of it with some stone slabs. And then once the walls were done, I began to change the floor itself by mixing in some condensed dirt and some regular dirt. Now I start to make some of the buildings that are on the interior wall, messing around with the designs a little bit, changing the roof materials, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And I ended up changing the roofs of these buildings down here to spruce slabs and spruce stairs. Now most of these buildings took up most of the time from the build as they were hand built. I couldn't really use a lot of world edit or anything like that. They're all block by block, so they take the most amount of time. And making sure that I get them accurate to the show as well. Now this building here, for example, this was on a diagonal, which made it quite difficult in the first place. But I also mixed in some new roof material, which is some grey hardened clay. And then as the camera swings over to this side, we add in another building over here. 
Now we're back at the main entrance. I build an interior tower and then continue to build some more of these buildings to fill in the space. Now this is the main entrance into the actual castle itself. Adding some more buildings and towers around next to it. And now we come to the back side of the castle once again and do a similar style of buildings on this side. Now once that was done I went round to the right side of the castle and started to add in my own custom trees. Now once I pasted one version of the tree I pasted it back in and then edited it and then continued to paste it around and rotate them and slowly edit them to make a condensed forest. Adding in the one weirwood tree there and then filling in the rest of the forest. And now we start to plan out the rest of the castle on the top here, using some wool to plan it out. And then building up the structure of it with stone brick and cobblestone. This building here had more of a unique roof to it. And then coming over to this one, it's mimicking the one that we did down below, just a little bit larger. Once again, using that grey hardened clay for the roofs of the buildings. And then adding in some more cylindrical towers at the front here. They're at a similar design to the other towers, except I changed how they slope up slightly just to give it a little bit more detail. As I thought they would be too flat if I did them the same as the other towers. Now as we come round to the side here, we add in this large drum tower on the end. A company with a few little buildings on the sides of it. One more small tower on the end here. And then once I'm done, I go around and add a few details and some chests. And that's about it. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the channel. Now these videos take a long time to produce, especially now that I'm starting up university once more. And so while I'm doing these large builds, I really wanted to do some smaller content so that I can post more frequently for you guys. Now whether that's Minecraft or some other games, I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Apart from that, I will see you guys in the next video of whatever it is that I decide to do. Bye! We're invincible.